Hello, folks. Welcome to the Tough Crowd, the greatest show on the planet Earth. So what happened today? They said there are 10 more Paris Hilton tapes. Uh, no, no. See, that's okay, because uh, I just banged the other door. No. Oh, folks. Now, look. Ah. I really am a master impressionist if I ever tried. I'm great at a lot of things, but I had low self-esteem. Listen, this is what's wrong. In the old days, if you had Hilton family money, everybody in this, involved in this would have been killed on the down low. You know what I mean? <laughs> what's the point of being a Hilton's if you can't kill people to do stuff like this with you? Here's another good one I heard. It's illegal to show the nativity scene in schools in New York during Christmas. You have the menorah, the crescent for Islam, but not the nativity scene. Folks, nativity scene, Christ's birth, it's Christmas. It's named after the nativity scene. <laughs> All right. And to protest, we're going to have a nativity scene on this show with Norton as the baby Jesus. Well, and I think Voss, when I started thinking about it, could be one of the three wise men statues. Because he almost looks like he has his hair and beard painted on, you know? He's like a very ceramic complexion, Voss. He really is a creep. They all are. Anyway, I think the fact that Christianity is under such attack is all this biblical prophecy. Because this is when they said it would happen. And I get nervous, like the Bible's right with the marks of the beasts, the plagues, the frogs raining down. You see how windy it is today? That could, <laughs> hey, that could blow, you're laughing, that could blow all the hell frogs out of their perch onto your necks. You know, <laughs> you're laughing after they, they got a damn hell frog, I guess what they call them. Look, I'm not trying to get the Christians paranoid, but if things keep going this way, you'll be back at the Coliseum fighting the lions, you know? <laughs> Next thing you know, you wake up in the ICU unit and Siegfried saying a gay German prayer over your head. You know? <laughs> and then he's like, I'm sorry, it must be the wrong room. All right, let's start the show on that bad accent I just did. Oh, oh folks! Now, I'm wearing this like Robert Durst. That's a joke, you know? Is that he's a cross-dresser? This is what he did, he stabbed the guy. He received a not guilty verdict yesterday for killing his neighbor. His defense that the death was an accident, that he, uh, he was trying to hide the evidence, he panicked, chopped up his victim's body, and then threw it in a river. Now, I mean, that's, you know, I still don't really understand not only the story, but the way we phrased it just now. But, uh, that's not it. Can you put that back on for a second? Why, Bob? You, you, look, you look just like the girl that Jim Norton brought up to the apartment the other night. <laughs> <laughs> that would have been good if you hadn't nervously gone, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Jimmy, I, I've been on the show twice, you ass. I know, but the crowd doesn't know stupid, bald Norton lives in your building either, dum dum. <laughs> now, Jimmy, yeah. let me ask you: Would the diff would this have been different if the guy had been black? Come on, man. <laughs> Come on. What kind of question is that? Can anybody say Suge Knight? You know? <laughs> yeah, of course, of course. It, 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 it definitely matters if he was black because I'm just a regular big black guy. And if I, I fit a description everywhere I go, and I get harassed by the cops. <laughs> so imagine if I'm, I, I murdered my neighbor, and I, I'm trying to get off. I don't even got money. <laughs> so I, I'm really going to jail. I'm going to jail for two reasons, being black and decapitating this young man. <laughs> I want to know, but it's I'll also... Say, all right, if he was a regular black guy like you, he would have yeah, never hey. got off, but we all know if he was a professional oh, a athlete... Black guy? You just said, I'm a regular black guy. Uh, no, You're I, just I, really I, big. I, no, uh, I was just... I, You're a regular black guy with a really bad shirt. I had to do it. Isn't that... Oh! Hack, hack, hack! He really... For the record, <laughs> for the record, I did not start. Yeah. She started first. <laughs> he really does look like Where a B-train going to Harlem, doesn't he? What's that? I said he really does look like the B-train going to Harlem. <laughs> but you know if it was a professional athlete, okay. he would have gotten off. Okay. okay. First of all, Jimmy, okay. right? Black Is that right? Anyone? This couldn't be black. Black guys don't chop bodies up. It's they a matter of class. You. It's not a black issue. <laughs> it's a class issue. The guy did Let's... not have the money to buy his freedom, which this guy obviously had. And where did they pick this jury? At yeah, Bronx they went Community to the O.J. College. Simpson jury school. I mean, exactly. you know. Exactly. Big time. Was, but what? Didn't he say it was self-defense? Is there a school? Self-defense of a 71-year-old I don't want to talk about it anymore. I want to show this stupid thing. Ready? Let's see the uh, thing. Million, I'll, get away. Thing. I'll kill you. I'll kill you. Get yeah. away from me. He bought his way out of jail. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, no, I don't think it's the money thing. Mm -hmm. If he was black and he had money, he still wouldn't have gotten mm -hmm. He's white. He gets off. He gets the deal. Three black kids go to jail for 15 and a half to life. If he was black, he, they would have straight gave him the sentence. They would have just killed us. It ain't about being black, my man. I think they should lock him up and take his nuts out. <laughs> <laughs> that 
looks like that looks like one of your relatives, that guy. <laughs> We're Mets fans. Yeah, right. All right, what's the next story? Let's move along. Oh, look at this judge, Chief Justice Roy Moore, has been removed from the bench for refusing to remove a, a giant monument of the Ten Commandments from his courthouse. He said, I was just upholding my oath of office the Constitution of Alabama requires to acknowledge God. Now, I kind of agree with him, but, you know, did he have to use acknowledge God with bigger stones than Moses? <laughs> You're looking for a fight, Peckerwood. Watch it. Now, listen, aren't the Ten Commandments, though, the foundation of most law, Jim David? I don't think so. I think they're no. the foundation of most religion. I mean, in the Ten Commandments, you've only got three laws that are, that are commandments, stealing, killing, and bearing false witness. It's not against the law to covet your neighbor's ass. I mean, that's the foundation of Jim, capitalism. Jim, I think you're paraphrasing into your version no. of the Ten Commandments. <laughs> no, it is. It says you shall not covet your neighbor's ass. Oh, come on, Jim. But he's got a good point because the foundation of law in this country is the protection of people who have enough money to hire lawyers to get them off for killing their neighbors. That's the foundation of law in this country. Holy crap. But, but, Whoa. But it is. What the hell is that? <laughs> that's he that's that's she was watching Ali It's Bignell, not. You know? <laughs> This country was not founded on religious persecution. This country was founded on slavery and making a buck. Not no, that no, I, but, but that's what it is. But the Ten Commandments, when we say it's law, it's not this country's law. It's, it was the early law of all countries when it first started. We're just saying that all uh, laws. But that's not the offended? foundation of most law in all, all countries either. It, 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 it's something good. It's a, the Ten Commandments. Why should that offend you? I mean, if it was a statue of somebody f***ing a nine-year-old, maybe you could get offended. <laughs> Because it just so now, happens. Now wait a minute. If your particular well, religion says sorry, that you worship a pickle and you should screw your your neighbor's wife and you should came, steal stuff from Kmart, then those are your beliefs. Those commandments conflict with your beliefs. I saw them. But don't that. you think that's a then anyone can say anything? I mean, at some point you believe, hey, listen, it's all just this slippery slope. So all country was founded. Let's say 85 percent Christian but right now. But Iraq was founded on what's it? The Koran. Don't, yeah, and, and same Iraq, thing. Look what they did. They bastardized it. That is not the it. same thing. Is my point. You can't say Iraq's behavior and the United States behavior is the same thing. The I'm two opposite ways they live. Religion can be too easily manipulated. But anybody, I can say people. that about anything in the world can be too easily manipulated. So yeah. don't do it. So don't do anything. Just stand here like this. No, with just a saltine cracker. No, and get it. Water for twenty years. <laughs> just don't mix religion and state. That's you can't all. Help. That's that's, 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 that's BS. You See? want to. You want to. Oh, yeah. You want the Lord involved when you're going to court. I know I do. If you're, if you're Lord. No, no, no. Listen, Trinity. <laughs> going here. Um, let me explain this to you. As a black man going to court, I always pray to the Lord when, because I got open cases but right that's now. Your, but that's your, that's your, every that's every your time right. I go to court, I pray to the Lord. It's Please, right. it's your right let me to pray walk to the out Lord. of these rooms. Yeah. I'm sorry, Jim. I just wanted to get that off my chest. I sat oh, back I and watched. Wow. All I'm saying is this: Senator Orrin Hatch has introduced a bill that will allow foreign-born citizens to run for president of the United States. Yes. Now I know why, because he wants to endorse that one, his boy, uh, Slick Rick. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing, folks? All right, look. Oh, Bernadette, should you, have been, should you have to be born here to be president of Bernadette? Who's Bernadette? Her. Trinity! Oh, my God! For God's sake! That's a black person's name. She's a person. It's an, Irish, it's an Irish name, Bernadette. It's an Irish Bernadette. name. You guys Bernadette. know Bernadette. Bernadette. I, mean, I, I think of it to you back in the jobs. day. Oh, my God. <laughs> we gave that stuff to you. You <laughs> You're not even Irish. What are you talking about? I'm That's Irish. Bob. Robert Patrick Kelly. Shut up, Bob. Colin. I'm Irish just Bob. like you. Like, shut shut your mouth and go back to Bernadette. Because he says... I'm just letting that go, Jim. Shut Thank you, Colin Kelly. Because he says Robert Patrick Kelly. What about Shaquille O'Neal, stupid? That's right. All right, folks. You're going to be a sellout and watch the commercials. I'll say that we hear these malcontents. We'll be right Oh, folks. I don't know. Every day there's a new wildest story from these kids. In a middle school in Florida, uh, they've been banned from wearing rubber sex bracelets because each color stands for a different sex act. And kids made up a game they call Snap, where the boys break the bracelet off the girl's wrist, and then you have a coupon for one of these acts. Now, I personally, I think it's a disgrace that I'm no longer in high school, but. <laughs> uh, well, you know what? This is just like, this is just like gay guys used to put handkerchiefs in their back pocket. Right. You know, I had a fuchsia one, which meant that I was into fellatio and scrabble. <laughs> I wanna, Thanks, Jim. I wanna say something. Robert, I'd love to say something. Black means sex and blue means oral sex. What does black and blue mean? You had sex with Colby? <laughs> <laughs> 
good soil. Woo! Woo! That was Woo! very nice. <laughs> I was even wearing I black and blue. I want to say, no. Always I think, good to I get in a these, race, Joe. I think these, thanks. I, <laughs> I think horrible. the, I think these, horrible. this is a great, great eye. I mean, when we were a kid, yeah. it was a guessing game who the slut was. This is perfect. These, these kids are multitasking. That's what I like. Now, wait a minute. Jimmy, you have a little true story to tell us about your girlfriend. Yeah, my girlfriend actually is a teacher at school. And, um... Her students gave her <laughs> wrist, these little <laughs> <laughs> gave wrist joints, whatever they uh, are. And they, she thought she was wearing it out of the love of the students. Like, yeah, I'm wearing this for you. I'm wearing this for you. But in reality, what she's letting them know is, hey, I give <laughs> I give all. It's a true story. <laughs> oh, my Lord. You're going to have to go up there and straighten that joint out. Yeah, all right, Bernadette, now awesome. you believe in, because uh, you're an Irish girl at heart, let's face it, you believe in di uh, discipline hitting kids, don't you? Yeah. Yeah, I, I agree with you. I think anybody who takes a subway at 3 o'clock when they all just got out of school would agree with me. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. You've got I to totally don't think they should be allowed to wear anything no. in school except a uniform because you know that's you know I, I, I think this is beyond freedom of speech. You just want all those boys nice and neat. You are all. so full of it. <laughs> <laughs> you always have to you always have to I'm play the kidding, gay cards because you, you have no you, other Jim, idea. I love you. But anyway, yeah, I know too much. Is it but girls or boys that gives you these things? Boys and girls. Oh my lord! They're, it's, it's, it's a really team effort. Up. It's a team effort. <laughs> well, maybe school. maybe maybe sh maybe you don't know something here. <laughs> and she's deserving these bracelets. Hey, hey, uh, hey, hey. Now listen, a new dating idea. A new dating idea. A new way that dating idea has been hitting big cities. Speed dating in the dark. I don't want to sit here for this you one. You really think we could tell him? No. The dinners are a way for singles to get to know each other without focusing on looks. The downstairs side, it could lead to speed raping, of course, but really, isn't all dating about looks, Bernadette? Well, I just feel if you're going to spend five minutes with a bunch of different guys in a dark room, you might as well just go work at a strip club and make a ton of cash. That's not a bad idea. And all these straight guys that are doing this, uh -huh. I don't trust them. What's wrong with them? A guy who doesn't care what you look like, it's probably because he's just going to make a coat out of your skin or something. You know, <laughs> you know who's doing this? Who? You know who's doing this? Who? Fat, ugly introverts. That's who's doing this. Okay? <laughs> Good-looking people have no problem being in a well-lit Starbucks meeting each other. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. And I don't even understand. If Look, if you want to do this, just meet each other. Who cares what you look like? Mm -hmm. Go home with a fat chick and then shut the lights out. You want speed dating? <laughs> it's backwards. It's backwards. If you want speed dating, hi, hi. You want to have sex? Yes. Shut the lights out. Done. Oh. You know what it is? It's people who are so superficial throughout their 20s, they wanted to be with the hot model, whether it be male or female. Now they're in their late 30s and they're scared. And because they were so superficial and wrapped up at looks, they have to do this. Am I on crossfire? <laughs> I like the <laughs> I like the fact that you managed to point to every one of us during that. So superficial. No, no, you it's really, it's really it's stupid. I mean, I just think the whole idea is stupid because what if you like really like somebody in the dark and then you, the lights come up and she looks like Dr. Ruth passed out over a garbage can at 4 o'clock in the morning? Oh, you know, I mean, what if? Over? Huh? Get out! Get out. Yeah. <laughs> would, would you that's, guys do that? Would, what straight guy do you know that would really do that? That's why I just cut, do out, what? The, I cut out the middle, man. I would just you masturbate. go on the stage and you can't see what the... <laughs> I, I, don't, I don't need... I no, really, and I help him. Jimmy, we knew that. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you knew that. Stop saying that stuff. I buried my I'm microphone sorry. into my nipple. I'm sorry. You big ape, I'm you're gonna, strong. I'm whoop your ass. I think Why? you should stay. You should stay where you are, Colin. No, no. Don't move. Listen, patrons are lining up to eat sushi off a naked woman's uh, body at a restaurant in Seattle. Protesters say they're treating a woman like a serving platter is dehumanizing and blah, blah, blah. Now, I know whatever else it is a good way to get rid of the day old Torah. Is it wrong? But listen, <laughs> Wait, Jim, stop one second. Can Jim you just, just stop touching my knee like did that? Did Jim just <laughs> cut off my one big laugh I could have had in the show? <laughs> no, let's go back. You go back. Son of a bitch. Go <laughs> ahead. Yeah, so go ahead. What do you think? sushi Jim? off of this woman. Huh? Yeah. I think yeah. eating raw fish off did of a naked woman is ridiculous. Did he just cut you off after you cut me off? Yeah, he did that. <laughs> First of all, yeah, the, the only food they could do this with was sushi with Japanese ladies because they're so docile. You could never do this with like a chick from the Bronx. They, they don't shut up for a half hour to enjoy your meal. She'd be like, oh no, you did and spill beans on my coochie. <laughs> Holy s. It was like Steve. For some of us, our relationship with commercials is the longest running relationship we have, okay? So go work on yours. We'll be right back.